Hey there friends, thanks for stopping by today. I am in the process of organizing and decluttering my colored pencils, as you can see my mess. Um, I really want to actually kind of organize and declutter our um, apartment and I thought I would start with some of my maybe easier things in my crafty stash and then move on to like clothes and household things. But um, today I really wanted to get my colored pencils in order because I purchased a couple of new coloring books. I'm really excited to start them but I realized my colored pencils are a mess and honestly I have some duplicates and I've got some that maybe I just really don't enjoy how they color. So I just wanted to kind of organize them and I thought I'd pop the camera on and you guys can hang out with me if you're interested. Maybe you've got a lot of coloring pencils and they're just sort of overtaking your craft stash. We can declutter together if you're in the mood. I actually just purchased a mermaid coloring book um, in San Diego last weekend at a place called um, Captain Finch's, I think it was called. It's a uh, a sh like a bookstore, but they got a lot of children's books and tons and tons of coloring books. It's in Old Town in San Diego, so they're super fun to look at. If you're ever in San Diego and you love to color, you should totally make a stop there because they have just wonderful, wonderful coloring books. And just every um, topic you can ever think of, like animals and history and fashion, like fantasy and space and undersea sort of imagery, anything and everything you can think of. They have like a ton of history from around the world and lots of cool fashion ones. But I picked up a mermaid book because so I've been looking for a mermaid coloring book for a while. And so I was really excited to find that. And so yeah, I thought I would um, declutter my coloring pencils. I kind of was looking online for some different um, like ways to sort of corral them besides just a pencil case. Um, let me show you the pencil case that I had been using. Okay, so I had been using this pencil case, which I really like. I got it at um, Target at the dollar bin, I don't know, several years ago. And I like it. It's a nice roomy pencil case. It zips like really nice. But I would always have to put my pencils in another bag because I was worried about all the leads getting on the light colored liner. And every time I wanted to use them, you have to like dump everything out and sift through all these different colors to find what you want. And I just was not, it just was kind of like making it not fun to work on my books. So I, I looked on Amazon and I did find some really cool pencil cases where they have like slots. So it's kind of like an elastic band. Maybe I'll, I'll try to insert a photo of what I'm talking about. And, um, but it keeps your colors like nice and straight like this and you can really see like what you have so I had kind of thought about getting one of those but the only thing was they're for like people with huge collections so maybe I think 72 was the smallest and they went up to like hundreds of colors so I thought you know I really don't need anything that huge I have maybe like 80 color pencils I don't know I'm just sort of guesstimating but as you can see, like I kind of did all my oranges here. There's a lot of, you know, kind of like similar colors or duplicates. I actually found, let's see, one of my oranges. I think it was actually, it's like the same one. Um, so they're like both the Crayola uh, red orange, which they, I like the Crayola. They um, color like really nice and it has a nice deep color, but obviously I don't need two. So I can get rid of one. So that will go in my going pile and I'll just keep the one that's got um, more lead in it. But, you know, and my colored pencils are seriously, like you can see, they're nothing fancy. I'm not even sure what brand this is. Happy Craft, Crayola, more Crayola. These are EK and um, let's see. I think these are Tombow. Yeah, these are Tombow. Um, I got these, I think, maybe last year at one of the planner cons. And so that's maybe like <laughs> my most like high-end pencil. I think I have another branch here that I was looking through. Oh, here. Pedigree. So, you know, they're like nothing. I don't have like Prismacolor or anything like super fancy. Um, here's another brand. This one's called Color Ray. So they're kind of just random. I'm, I've probably just picked them up like who knows where and this is my collection. 
Here's another one, Beryl, very thin, very thin. Um, so yeah, they're kind of just random. This one looks really retro actually with the end like this. Maybe I got it at a um, garage sale or something, who knows. So yeah, I've just got kind of like a random collection. Um, so I, I feel like I have like plenty of colors. Um, it's just kind of to get like the colors I like. I really just honestly want like the essentials of the colors I really like and the pencils that I really like working with because I noticed some of these, um, you know, they either just like don't color very well. There was one I was working with and it was so kind of waxy. Oh, here, this one, a Crayola, which usually I like the Crayolas, but I don't know, somehow this color is just like not awesome. So I'm kind of just going through, like I have this one, which is maybe, nope, not quite the same. But see, they look the same. They're not called the same, light blue and blue, but basically the color is almost identical. So I'm just kind of going through all my colors and seeing um, which ones I like, which ones I don't. And then I kind of DIY'd my own case, so I will show you how that came out. Um, my process for decluttering my pencils is kind of just, I'm grouping them by color, so like here's like all my blues. And then I'm just kind of going through and coloring with each one and just kind of doing like a little swatch and seeing like, do I like the color? Do I like how it colors? Like, is it too waxy or I don't really like the depth of the pigment. Like it's just, I don't know, not a real um, robust pigment. So, or sometimes like some of them just like don't really feel very good in your hand. Like maybe they're just like kind of old and all, you know, kind of ratty and they just don't feel good to color with. So then I'm just kind of letting them go. So I'm hoping to end up with maybe, I don't know, 50 or so, I'm not really sure. I'm working on a case right now that I'm sort of DIYing and I'll show you that in a minute. And I'm gonna also see how many will fit kind of comfortably in there. So yeah, so that's kind of my process. If you're kind of doing the same thing, you might just wanna do like a little swatch and see which colors you really like or maybe you have too many of, like these oranges, these two look pretty similar, these look pretty similar, these look pretty similar. Um, so you know, then I will just let one go. Um, this like, um, like a, what do you call it? It's called Atomic Tangerine. I just don't think it's a color I'm really gonna use. The pigment's great, but I don't really use like the fluorescent colors that much. So I may just let this one go because um, it's a nice pencil and everything, but I don't think I'm gonna really use it. So, you know, for whatever reason or no reason at all, it's okay just to let some colors go if you don't think you're gonna use them or you don't like how they color. Coloring is supposed to be fun, so you want colors that you're excited to use. So I'm gonna go through all my pencils now. I'll kind of speed this up maybe a little bit so you don't have to um, see all of my hemming and hawing about which one, <laughs> which pencils I'm gonna um, keep, but I will be back and I'll kind of show you what I'm coming up with for my DIY pencil box.
can see, I went through all my pencils. Um, I think this is kind of my final tally, but we'll see as I try to put them into my DIY box. I think I may still have too many, but we'll see. Um, I've got this little um, pillowcase here because otherwise my pencils go rolling all over my plastic table here. <laughs> so I've got the um, little pillowcase down so that things kind of can stay um, corralled for you guys and they're not rolling all over the place and making noise. This is my um, declutter box. So these I'm letting go of. Um, I do have a couple Prismacolor here. These are colorless blenders and you get two to a box. So I do have a duplicate, but I am gonna save both of these. As I was telling you before, I really thought the slotted pencil boxes were really cool because you could see all of your pencils like this all lined up and you could see what colors you have. Um, the only thing I didn't like is they seemed a little bit bulky if I wanna take it to a coffee shop or traveling with me. I really like to travel as light as possible and if I want to take crafty things with me, I kind of have to keep that in mind. A lot of those pencil boxes, they held like a ton of pencils and you could put pens and other things in them. In them, But they were probably like, I think the smallest was maybe two and a half and they went up to like four inches. So it kind of was seemed a little bit large for what I wanted my pencil box to be. And they were maybe, the other dimensions were like seven by nine or five by seven. So it was a little bit uh, large for what I was looking for. So I thought I would kind of repurpose something I already had at home. And I was looking through all of my um, pouches or cases that are zippered. So I had a couple of planners that are zippered like this. And I had this, which is actually a journal. I got this at Michael's quite a long time ago. And as you can see, I just was taking it out to see how it would work with my little project I have going. But the, um, the flaps just kind of fit in these little pockets here. And so there's no rings like my other planners have rings um, in the spine here. This one's just flat. And I'm almost done with the journal. I've like just got like this much left. So probably I'll be done with this by the end of the year. And this would end up just sitting on my shelf anyway, not doing anything. So I am planning to use this for my pencil box. I really liked how those other pencil boxes um, laid flat so that you could see all of your colors. And I did kind of toy around with using like maybe fabric to make pockets. And then I remembered that I had a few of these baseball cards uh, pages. And I think you could probably use other pocket pages too. I know Mambi makes pocket pages, so that might also be a possibility. But what I thought I would do is just cut them down so you can see how kind of four fits like this. And this one's kind of flimsy. The other ones that I cut down are a little bit stiffer. So I would get a little heavier plastic if you can, if you are gonna use something like this. Um, but what I did is I just cut right along where the top of this pocket is. So it's already got a line for you. And then I just cut along here. So it was really just two cuts and then I ended up with um, pockets like this. And I'm really just gonna put the pencils in the bottom. And let's see how that works out. I'm not sure how many I'm going to be able to get in here and close it because the other thing I like is my little pencil sharpener. So that's sort of my other essential when I'm coloring is pencil sharpener and the pencils. So I also want this to fit in here somehow. I keep it in this little bag because although I love this pencil sharpener, I got this at the Tate Museum in London, but this kind of sometimes wants to come apart and then all the little shavings go everywhere. So I kind of keep it in a little bag just to um, prevent messes. So let's start putting the pencils in and see how they are gonna work. I think I'll start with my blues and greens here. And what I like about um, the idea of just putting them in plastic is I don't have to worry about um, fabric getting ruined. I had thought about trying to make pockets out of like felt or something, but I think the leads would still be the same issue with marking up the fabric um, and it would just look kind of messy and I don't really know if you can wash 
felt very easy. I'm not actually sure if you can put that in the laundry or not. So um, I think the plastic will work. I guess it'll be a little experiment and we'll just try it. It's kind of nice to go through your stash and just use what you have because um, I kind of want to use it or lose it this year. Like I was saying, I am kind of in the mood to declutter and clean out some of our spaces. So it looks like I can fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pencils in here comfortably. So we'll see um, how they fit. I've got um, five blues, so maybe, maybe I can put these in here. Those are my blenders. Okay, we'll do all of my yellows. And I have this gold metallic that's kind of a cool pencil too that I found. I kind of like that. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, maybe I could put black with that and then go into my browns. pretty good and I think they're pretty snug in there of course if I totally flip it over it is gonna all fall out but hopefully um, that won't happen like at a coffee shop or something oh, that'd be horrible huh that would be a little noisy and embarrassing okay let's go on to reds and oranges like a good way to repurpose these little um, baseball card holders because I don't really collect baseball cards and um, I think I had been keeping business cards in them um, I know they're not actually like official business card holders but that's what I had been using them for and that seemed to be working um, pretty well um, but that's kind of another thing that I kind of need to clean and maybe get rid of some of my older um, business cards that I had. Okay, so I've got one more here for my purples. Oh, and I've got my one white pencil here. Okay, so I don't have that many purples. Um, okay, so let's see now if this is going to fit how I had envisioned. Because my idea was um, to slide a pocket into each of these. Um, maybe I'll make this a little bit shorter here. There. So I kind of thought I would try to slide them in here. Yes, they do fit pretty good. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay. Um, maybe let's try this one. I think I'm going to keep the shorter ones on the edge just so it goes into the pocket a little bit better. Okay, that works pretty good. Not bad. I feel like the one pocket slid easier than the other. But yeah, okay, this is not bad. So it would open and close like this, and then let's see what happens if I lay these on top, and I still have this little guy to go in. So I don't know, is this gonna work? Uh, maybe. Let's try zipping first, and then, oh yeah, this might work. Well, I don't know. Okay, let's see if we can kind of just stick this in the top. I don't know, it kind of seems like, well, I think it might work. Okay, it does fit. It does, I feel like it kind of um, distorts it a little bit. It's not bad, it feels really solid actually. And then, yeah, it opens pretty well. I mean, it does keep things pretty um, nice and organized. I think, I just feel like, let's see if I, um, 
if I just had three. See, that closes like a lot better, doesn't it? And then let's try to get this little guy here in the top. Yeah, see, I feel like, doesn't that like look better? I feel like, how many overs is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. What do you think, guys? Is there six more pencils I can maybe let go of? Probably. I mean, really, will I miss six more? Because I think I had two of the... Didn't I have two of the blenders? I think I did. Let me see here. Yeah, I have two of these. Okay, so really, I can get rid of one of these, and that's just um, five more then? Is that right? Okay, I'm going to throw the music back on and I am going to go through some of these colors again and see if I can let go of, what would it be, five more? I think I probably can. Let's try it. Okay, so these are the five I decided to let go of. In the end, you can see I was struggling with the browns and the pinks, but I really love pink and I use pink a lot. I love all the different browns because um, I feel like neutrals are always really great. You can do a lot with those. Um, and in the end, I decided to let go of the white. Now, there's really nothing wrong with this white pencil, but I really never use white. That's probably why it's still really long and perfectly sharpened. I have never used white pencil. I mean, I suppose on um, black paper, but all my coloring books are drawings on white paper. So um, I decided I'm gonna let that one go and these because they were either kind of similar and maybe they didn't really build out the collection that well. So these are going. Okay, so now I think these should all fit in three of these. Um, so one in each of the pockets of my little case here. And then one just sort of laying in the, in the middle. So I'm going to kind of organize these in sevens. Hopefully they all kind of come out right. I wanted to kind of keep the colors together if possible. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it works. So I've got my purples, pinks, greens. I think it's going to be so much more fun to color when I can actually see what I have and enjoy using it. It's so much fun to like add to your craft stash and buy new products and try them out and see if you enjoy them. But sometimes you can get to a point where you almost have like so many, you're like paralyzed and you don't really know where to even start. Like you have so much that it's like hard to enjoy just like playing around with what you um, have. So yeah, I kind of thought this would be a good year coming up now to kind of just start going through my stuff. Um, and seeing what I am really enjoying and what I could maybe pass along to somebody else who might have fun trying it out. You know, sometimes we just buy things um, just to kind of try them out, like it's the hot thing and we want to see like, is it fun or not, is it us? So yeah, you can kind of end up um, accumulating a lot of stuff that way. Okay, these go with my greens and blues and this is I don't know, some of these colors could go with the brown, some could go with yellow. Okay, so I need 
seven. So, oops, I've got purples in two spots. Okay, so I've got a lot of kind of blue and purple. And what is that? Violet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, well, that one all fit together. Well, it. Maybe I'll start with my purples because I've got five. So I need something with six, seven. I could put uh, my little, these kind of flesh sort of neutrals down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need one more. Maybe my blender will go there. And what do I have? Six here. One, two, three, four, five there. And what are these? Four. And gosh, I have a lot of green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Well, the green and green blue are kind of seven. So actually, maybe I will start with those because that might be easier for me. Okay, so that fits in there. I feel like a natural place for me to go after green is blue. So this may not be like the perfect way of doing it, but I think this is how I'm gonna do it. Okay, so there I've got blues. I think the gray will fit in here. Okay, that works for me. Those are kind of like in a good organizational way. Okay, next we had these um, browns. These are kind of, I don't know, not just brown because there's neutral because here's my black one. I could even put that somewhere else to make it easy to find. So that is an excellent one for shading. I like to shade with black. Um, okay, so what do I have here? I guess I could put these two together, huh? Okay, that kind of works for me. I kind of feel like these flesh tones would work really well here too though, huh? I kind of try to think about like where might I look for things. Um, I kind of would love all of my neutrals together. Okay, so now I need like seven more over here. I think I'll start with these yellows because I have a gold in here and this sort of tan is kind of yellow, kind of brown. So what do I need? I need two more over here. I think I'm going to put this blender and my black so I can easily find the black one. Okay, what's left? Hopefully no more than 14, right? <laughs> so that they're all going to fit in here. Boy, I sure hope so. Okay, so let's do all of my pinks. Okay, so here's that and into my reds and oranges. Let's see, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, really? Did I count wrong? I bet I didn't, maybe I didn't plan on my blender, so I still have one too many, is that right? Oh goodness, friends, this is what we do when we go through a nice organizing project, huh? Okay, yep, I think I'm going to end up with one extra here. Well, you know what, I think one of my reds is maybe going to get the boot here. Because I think if I look at this, my oranges were pretty, um, like my purples are really quite different. My greens are really different. I think my blues are pretty good. I know the pinks are kind of close and I did struggle with those two. Those are really close. And what do you think about this red? I don't know. Yeah, the reds are kind of different. I feel like one is more fire engine and this one is kind of more watermelon. Man, maybe I do need to let one of these pinks go instead. I mean, the pinks are different. Oops, I think I've got the wrong one here. I think it was actually this one. 
Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Or I also had two browns that were quite similar too. Um, let me take another look at these browns. Maybe one of these guys aren't gonna aren't going to last. Let's see here. So I know I had one that I really enjoyed. Like this one, I think really colors nice. I like that color a lot. Whoops. And this one, you know, this these two are kind of similar. Okay, this one might be going. And then I've got that one. This one, this one's really quite different. That's almost kind of orangey. And this one. So I think like these two are kind of similar. But you know, this... Man, I think maybe this one could go, huh? It's pretty close to this one. So I think that one is going. And then I think... I think everything is going to fit. Let's cross our fingers. Okay, I may have to rearrange a little bit here. So I've got my... Okay, so here's my flesh tones. Here are my neutrals. And what do I need? I need something with threes in there. Okay, so if I pull out my blender and my black maybe I could do my oranges in here would that work maybe oops not quite that many I guess okay here's an orangey color and do I have one two three four five six I can fit one more I think I'll take this one out and do my reds in here. Okay, is this gonna fit? Okay, so that's sort of neutrals, neutrals and yellows. And then here I have my purples, my pink. I'll do my kind of fleshy tones there. I have my gold, which is kind of like an odd one out. And Okay, does that fit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I think this is gonna do it. So I have my like greens and blues. I like that. Purples, this is kind of a mishmash, I guess. But I think it'll work. And then here's sort of my neutrals and oranges and yellows. So, okay, let's see how this is gonna work now. Um, so I'm gonna put my purples in here because these are a little bit smaller pencils so I'm gonna slide that in there and that is sliding pretty good okay so that's one in and now I think I'll do this and with this so it's a little bit smaller I'm trying to fit that into my pocket okay that one fits a little bit easier than this side Okay, and then my idea was just to lay this one on top and then put my little pencil um, sharpener in here. So let's see. Okay, I think this is going to work. Okay. Oh, that feels much better. I feel like the pencil sharpener maybe needs to be in a different spot. open it up again. Maybe I'll have to kind of just finesse that in there. You know what? I think if I do my greens like this, I think I can sort of put it right in the middle of this one. Yeah, I think that's going to work. All right, let's try that. Okay, that feels better. Success. Okay, this feels a lot better to me, and I think this is going to be really easy to take to a coffee shop because it's really easy just to throw in my bag. I sometimes already bring this journal with me, so yeah, I think this is going to be awesome. And it's easy to open, easy to put away, and easy just to like pull out and lay my colors out and see what I have. So, I hope this video didn't get too uh, long for you guys. I know it 
took a little bit of time to go through my pencils and then we had a little setback, didn't we? As far as them all not fitting, at least not fitting how I wanted them to. I'm really happy with this. Um, but thanks for hanging out with me till the end. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm planning on doing some other decluttering projects this year um, and into next year just to get my stuff down to kind of a nice manageable amount. I'm happy to be letting go of all these pencils. They can go to a new home. And I've got these and they all fit in one case so I know exactly what I have and it will be really easy to tote around with me. Guys, I couldn't leave well enough alone and I suddenly remembered I had these really cute little embroidered patches from the Planner Society and they're adhesive. They're kind of basically like a sticker but it's embroidered. And I thought, oh, I haven't used, um, haven't gotten to use any of these yet because I haven't known what to use them on. So I thought this would be the perfect way to make my little pencil case just even that much cuter. And so I've put a little fox on. So that's the latest on my little DIY pencil box that I made. I hope you'll go through your stash if you're organizing your pencils or any of your other little crafty things and see what you already own that you can repurpose and remake and DIY into something new and useful. And let me know in the comments below what you come up with. It's always fun to hear um, what other crafty people are doing with all their cute little supplies. Thanks for stopping by today and helping me organize and declutter all of my colored pencils. If you like organizing and decluttering your crafty stash, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. Until then, have a great week, friends. Bye.